Morning, golf cart jockey. Good morning, sir. How are you this fine and Osetti morning? I'm great. What a beautiful morning, huh? Good. Got a headache? Uh, not so much, you know. No more than usual. I think the doubles last night kind of kicked my butt. I got a little bit of a headache. <laughs> They'll do that, you know. It's not but good when you start with those. That's a finishing good. product. That bad idea. Not to worry, though. I had two Big Macs this morning, so. Oh, uh, well, you'll be just fine then. I'm good to go. Either I'll be working hard or I'll be puking. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so, pretty sure I know which one that is. I, I know you've been there. You've done that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's your plan for today, there, sir? Well, I think it's time to get this bad boy right here up and running. We got this thing, and it's just kind of sitting here. I think so. Look at that. <clears throat> Why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you come stand here real quick and look at this for me real quick? Um, I'm going to stand back here and look at it, if that's oh. all right with you. Get a little closer. Come yeah, on. No, no, it's fine. No. Are you sure? Yeah, because okay. you're a little clumsy. I don't want you to trip or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're walking in a funny zone. Are you sure you're all right? Tights, tights, or pants a little tight for you? Well, yeah, you know, you got to break them in when you first get them out of the dryer. A little oh, stiff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little stiff there, yeah. Right, a little overstarched. So. So. <laughs> overstarched. <laughs> Aren't, aren't you just the uh, dry cleaner extraordinaire? Um, <laughs> we, uh, anyways, let's go get some start, cows. <laughs> do you really? Do you start your jeans? I mean, I don't yeah. own any jeans. Oh, you don't own any jeans? Oh. No, I'm a communist. That's that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you you wear those uh, khaki kind of pants there things. That's right. Every day. Indeed. So, anyways, let's go buy some well, cows. Okay, let's go buy some cows. We have, oh, look at that. You, I tell you what, you've been busy. you got silage bales there. We have hay. We have straw. So I think we're set. Yeah, we got uh, 24 bales sitting there. And I think I have that many straw bales or close to it that I can bring up to mix in. And we'll just use the sheep's hay bales to mix in there for now. Sounds like a good plan to me. Um, well, I'll go finish Lyman. And then I'll um, yeah, talk well, to yeah. Greece. I'm going to go... I'm going to go sell some wool this morning, so I'll make us a little bit more money there. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Starting to pile up on us already, so it's time to clear out the yard. Good idea. You have a good day. I'll see you a little bit later. You do the same. We'll see you. All right. Have fun. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Meadow Grove. Uh, yeah, we just got done talking to Farmer Men, and it looks like we got some work to do today. I don't know where I'm going. That's my parking spot right there. So, yeah, we just got back here to the house and uh, whoop, turn that thing off. We just got back to the house. We are going to go sell some wool. Uh, yeah. After we get done with the wool, we have to get the auto load trailer and some bale forks and see if we can get those hay bales that are in storage over here at the sheep. We got to get those moved over to the cow pen. So, yeah. Exciting. Hopefully we can get some cows in today. That'll be nice. Uh, a little more income for the farm here. But speaking of income, oh, let's crash into the wall and take away all of the income. That's a good idea. Uh, <laughs> no, speaking of income, the, um, the sheep, they're making wool faster than I thought they would for no more than we have. We already, uh, you know, hit the limit on our spawn space there, so I had to move the pallets before more wool would make it. So uh, it's time to go get rid of that. Could, since I have bale forks on here, I could go do the bales first. Um, but, let's check. Yeah, I thought I was dragging something. Uh, before we started, the price of wool was over $1,000. And it still is, so. Uh, looks like it's neither going up or down, so that means the next move is probably down. I don't think it's going to get much higher than that. So, let's take a... Uh, Sorry, I had to grab my phone there, crash into the wall. All right, I, let's go take that and sell it. I think I have five full pallets and a little piece of one that's working on it right now. I'm just going to go ahead and sell all of them. And, yeah. There's the gate open again. That's what I was looking at. The thing is, I swear I didn't do it this time. I haven't even been in there. Are you guys opening the gate? What is the deal here? You're getting me in trouble. I'm going to get fired. Anyways, all right. So, look. We got four right there. I had to move those out of the way the other day. And we got these right here. I'm going to run up to Farmer Men's and grab the utility trailer that he has up there. I'm not sure that thing will hold all those, though. 
And there's the hay bales. So to get the hay bales out of here with the auto lube trailer, I'll probably use the forks here for the bale spike. Pull them out and see if I can hook up to the auto load and just kind of come through and scoop them up maybe. Watch out there, chicken nuggets. Coming through. So let's see. I don't know how many of these I can drag out. This is going to be a mess. I'm probably not going to let you guys watch this just because I don't want you making fun of me. Hurt my little feelings. Oh yeah. Oh boy. And so... Talk about a Michael Jackson moonwalk, buddy. Ooh. Bonk. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So anyways, I don't think there's any way to get the auto load trailer in there. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to pull a maneuver kind of like this and just pull them out, line them up, and then hopefully I'll have enough room to, to just come down with the arm out on the wagon and uh, scoop them all up. So let's see here. Go ahead and do one more. What I got to do, I realize as I come over here, is we have to run down and see Grease Monkey at the store. <clears throat> I had ordered a new set of uh, pallet forks. And okay. Yeah, all we have is bale forks, so I didn't do a real good job of moving those uh, wool pellets around. So, yeah, I'm going to run to the store, uh, get my new pallet forks. I'll probably leave the bale spikes. Ooh, nope, don't want to leave them in there. Block that guy. Uh, that old chick magnet in there. Alright, so I'll leave those there. I'll run and pick up my new forks. And then we are... I'll go ahead and pick the trailer up too. That's just a, a drive up to Farmer Men's. So you don't need to watch me driving around. So let me get the pallet forks, get the trailer, and then we'll come back here and see if we can load these things up and make some money. I'll be right back. Alright, well, I am up here at the pig farm. He was asking me how many straw bales we had. Well, there's five right there. I wonder if he knows about those, but he probably does. Um, I came up to look for the utility trailer. It's not in here, obviously. Man, he's got some cool toys, though, doesn't he? Look at this thing. I can't wait to mow the yard with that thing. That's going to be awesome. Um, anyways, I wonder if he knows this is in here. This is an extra set of front loader arms that we don't have any use for. I have a set on the John Deere. He has a set on the Fent right now. And we even have this little set right here for the case. I bet that was for one of the other John Deere's that we sold. I wonder if he... Yeah, we should sell those. I'll have to... As a matter of fact, let's jump in here and give him a call on the old radio here while we're looking for the utility trailer. Farmer Men, sir, can you hear me? Yes! Go ahead. I am over here looking for your utility trailer, and I happened to notice an extra set of front loader arms in the building with your Mahindra. Did you know those were in there? Yes, I just took them off. Oh, those are the ones off the Fint. Oh, never mind. Are you trying to steal a set of front loader forks? I was going to sell them, but, uh, yeah, no, they're good now. Hey, where's that trailer at? It would be uh, on the uh, building next to the uh, grass field 42, facing 42. Little black trailer there. Perfect. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Ten four. Yeah, over and out. And fence is going to be over and out. All right, so the building facing 42, that's this building right here. Oh, yeah, there you go. I knew that. I knew that was there. I forgot about all about this building here. Yeah, he's got all the cool toys over here. Look at that. A little trailer for his tractor, a little straw blower. I want some toys. Oh, we got a lawnmower. <clears throat> Let me just go make cut grass for the sheep there. Oh, so these are the arms off his vent. That makes perfect sense as to why we own an extra set then. Quite a place he's got here. I like it. Alright, anyways. 
Let's go get some work done. Ooh, goodness. I don't know if that's the optimal towing angle or not, but uh, I guess that's what we got. Maybe we'll hook that up to the Mahindra when we get back. I wonder if the Mahindra will pull this thing full of wool. Oh, well, speaking of pulling it full of wool, um, we only have to go across the street. I mean, it could not be a more convenient location. How do we get in here? We go this way? I don't know where I am sometimes. Um, you could not have been a more convenient location for the... Uh, the spinnery it is right across the road from us so <clears throat> we just have to put these on the trailer and get them up the hill and across the street and we're good to go so i like that that's a good deal and uh, excellent uh placement on the spinnery there or the cheap farm i guess spinnery was probably there first so kudos to adrian for that yeah made it easy on us i like that good stuff all right well Still not con convinced that uh, a minus one dollar wage payment. What's this guy giving a dollar to? And better yet, what kind of help are you getting for a dollar? My goodness. Anyways, <laughs> that's uh, yeah. I'm not convinced this trailer is gonna hold all five pallets. I guess we can go too high. Maybe it has straps. We'll see. We'll see if we can get some use out of this little thing. And eventually I hope that I'm going the right direction, because I'm not sure where we are now. There doesn't seem to be anything over here but grass. There's a nice little... is that the pond? Wait. Yeah, this is the ford where we fill the water tank. Okay, I come in the back way. I must have took and taken a left one too early there, one too many streets there. Alright, yeah, no problem, I knew that. I knew exactly where I was going. I meant to do that. Look at that grass field. We need to buy that thing. That is a monster over there. So, yeah, I don't, probably don't need any more grass. Like a, uh, like we were saying at the beginning there, I think we can alternate cuttings now. Uh, getting to a place where the cows and sheep will go every other time with the cutting and still be just fine as far as getting fed. So, I think we're alright. We don't want to spend too much of Adrian's money. We're still hopeful for a Christmas bonus, so holding out. Let's see here. Where should we put this thing? Uh, oh, there we go. Here's that coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, easy. No. Okay, we already got a chicken in there. Oh, the jack came out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I was dragging the jack all the way down here. Uh, yeah. Guess I don't need to put the jack up. How do we get this thing off here? Help me. Okay, guess it's just gonna kind of float there then. Yeah, we meant to do that. We meant to do that. Wow, we had a whole pallet fill up while we were gone. How long did that take us? Goodness gracious. Way too long. Alright. Uh, no. This isn't going to go well at all. <laughs> this is going to be a hard, hard uh, building to get these out of because I'm not going to be able to bring the camera over. It'd be a shame to have to jump out and eyeball these things every time. You know what? I need somebody to mod a long set of forks. Some good 8 or 10 foot forks would be great. This is a terrible parking job. Yeah, watch out, chicken. Oh, suicidal chicken, they don't care, buddy. There are no giving around here, buddy. They don't care. It's all good. Rebel chickens. You got rebel sheep walking through the building over there, standing on the wall. Pretty sure one of them's opening the gate. Call this place the funny farm. That's what we ought to do. 
Jeez, this feels like it's taking forever. By the time I get there, their wool price is going to be in the barrel. Yeah, there's just <laughs> nothing going good here. I'm driving up on the tailgate of the trailer. Oh, my. Nothing about this is, is <laughs> going to plan. All right, yeah. We're in chickens up on the thing. Let's hook this thing up. We gotta drag it a little further up, I think. A little further somewhere. There we go. We'll pretend like we meant to do that. All right. <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I can get these last uh, four on here. We have two right here. We have two that are in the spawn area. Let me get these dudes loaded up with. Minimal. I can't believe that that is lifting the f tires off the ground. Uh, <laughs> minimal destruction, hopefully. Not if I keep hitting the trailer like that. But, yeah. We, we've seen enough here. This uh, this might show up in court as an Exhibit A someday, so I kind of need to protect myself here. We'll turn this thing off when we can. I'll be right back. Alright. Well, I'm going to give this about a 0% chance of working properly. Go for a jockey, sir. You got a copy? Hold on. Let me go talk to this guy. Let me find my CB there. Yes, sir. We can hear you loud and clear. Oh, good. 10 4 there, good buddy. Say, the uh, Case Tractor 235 is possessed. Say it is. Oh, sorry. I forgot. I was, uh, I was driving down the road and I unhook the mic say the 235 case is possessed it's scary stay away from it don't go near it what on earth could be the problem i used it to mow the grass the other day and it was just fine have you ever been on one of those mechanical bull things <laughs> that's pretty good i like that um well i've seen it done let's just say that well, if you've never been on one and you want to, hey, go hop on the case tractor. Well, now I'm going to have to give it a try. <laughs> We're just going to have to see about that. All right. So I'm not sure what that was all about. That sounds exciting. We're going to have to go check on that. Anyways, I don't know what I was doing there, driving around. Um, losing, losing focus. <laughs> okay. The old bull rider going up there. Anyways. So I hope you guys can uh, hear me on his side if you're watching both of them. I hope you're watching both of us. Why on earth would you not be watching his his video? You can't watch this one and not watch his. That would be a, a travesty. But anyways. Um, yeah, I noticed when I was... Ooh. And which button pulled that jack up? Oh, that turns it off. Uh, oh, that one did it. There we go. All right. Well, that, that might help. So, anyways. What was I saying? This is going to be bad. Um, yeah, I noticed when I was watching his that uh, my voice was cutting off on the, the CB there. I guess I was letting go of the button a little too early. I was used to a... I grew up with a real life CB, so uh, that thing was, you get done talking, you let go of the button. A uh, little bit of a delay here, so you have to hold it a little bit longer. So I hope I got that fixed today. That's just uh, <clears throat> be a, a personal thing, something I have to learn to do. Just hang on to that button, even though I'm done talking for a little bit. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, in the meantime, we're going to take this. Look, we're going to make it. I got a feeling that is not going to make it, but it... It is, but it's not. It would probably help if I would slow down a little. Oh, my. Oh, weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, right? Oh, what happened there? Why would that? I don't understand. No, oh, so close. We almost made it. Anyways. <clears throat> Good thing I... I uh, well, no, I would have made money if we put money. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave that a 0% chance of success, didn't I? Oh, yeah, there's something there. This pallet does not want to go get sold, but it's just going to have to. It's just that simple. I'm sorry, my friend. You have no choice here. 
Oh goodness. Oh gosh. Okay. Maybe you have a choice. You have a choice. It's just a bad choice, but uh, we take it back. We're sorry. <laughs> Squirrel is voicing his disapproval on the floor. <laughs> so much for the realistic series, right? Uh, come on, we're almost there. It's so close. How could we not be able to do this? What is in the road that this thing keeps hitting? There's clearly some texture issues down there. Extra couple layers we don't need, maybe. That's all right. We're good. We, we made it. We got this. Look, that's it. We're done with you. You can stay right there for all we care. Yeah, I think somebody... Wow, that is the fastest wool selling I've ever seen. My goodness. That was incredible. Oh, I don't want to hit the thing. I should probably unhook the trailer to do this. Oh, no, we don't want to do it the simple way, though, do we? Little bitty short wheelbase. This thing doesn't want to back straight at all. A little turn happy back there. Come on, just go in there. Just real quick. Get this done. Done. All right. Perfect. So at least one of us is making money. I noticed the other one keeps making our bank account get a lot smaller. Let's see. We were at, what, 94, 96,000 when I was up at the cow pen looking up there? Now we're down to, I know we were down to 70 something a minute ago. Up to 82 now. I guess we'll be all right. I'm sure it was something we needed, right? We hope. Not some kind of bull riding thing that we take to the, yeah, that place. Anyways, all right. <laughs> it sounds... Like we're gonna leave that right there. It sounds like Mr. Squirrel wants to go outside and uh, yeah, voice his problems with our plan here. So let me go take care of that. Let's uh, let's see. We'll go back down here. We gotta find our tractor somewhere. Yeah, let me get down here, get this thing put away, and. Um, while I'm off camera, I'm going to go ahead and grab the bale spikes, put those back on, and I will, um, yeah, I will take uh, these hay bales and see if I can get them on the auto load trailer. So, I'll be right back. Alright. Hey, look at there. Trailer full of cows. Nice. So, we did manage to get a uh, old trailer load scooped out of there with the bale forks. It wasn't too ugly. It also wasn't something that uh, I want anybody else to see. My goodness, not something you could be proud of. But I uh, know the best method I found was to just grab the whole stack of four and back up as fast as you can. And then whenever they, wherever they fall, that's where we scoop them from. So, uh, yeah, I try to do it all nice and neat and stuff and uh, prim and proper, I suppose. But it just, just wasn't effective. Hey, look at there. Look out for this guy coming in hot. <laughs> Got some straw. All right. Oh, speaking of which, we'll have to grab our straw bale when we go back. Yeah. I got one stacked up in the pile there with the hay that needs to go away. Was the sheep aren't going to use it, so man, watch out for that bush right there. Yeah. So. That's a good idea. I'll remind myself to do that when I get back down there. Um, I did do a bail count. I'm only going to bring up 24... Whoa, I guess that was an auto-save. I'm only going to bring up 24 hay bales. Is this the right way? I think it's the right way. Anyway, sorry, I was looking at the map. I was <laughs> leaning forward like an old man there. I couldn't see that thing. Um... What was I saying? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was something. We're going to do something anyways. Yeah. Oh, uh, hay bales. I'm going to leave some of them there for the sheep. We have 11,000 liters in the hay loft of hay. And we have one or two bales left over. I uh, can't remember exactly how many it was. Maybe three. We'll have some left over. So, yeah. The sheep will be taken care of for quite a while. I was kind of worried there that uh, because the sheep are not full this minute... 
but I wouldn't have enough to fill them up for the second round, especially as they breed, you know, there'll be more and more of them there, so. It's interesting, you can see my equipment down there. The buildings aren't spawned in, but the equipment is down there. It looked pretty wild. Yeah. So, that's how it goes. All right. That's what we're going to do for the afternoon. It is already, goodness, it's already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. This day has flown by. We did get a little bit of work done, and we made some money. Uh, now we know where our money went in the bank. We can tell that he bought some cows with it, so that's good. We got that going on. So, yeah, I think it was a pretty productive day there. Uh, let's see, I'll leave this over here, and I'll go make another mess. So, the straw bale before I forget. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Goodness. These chickens are something. They're awful brave. If I seen a dude like this driving around, I think I'd be a little careful about where I walked, but they don't seem to mind. Anyways, there's the straw bill. Before I forget about it, I'm going to pull that out. I'll stick it down here so that I will have to run into it on the way out of town if I that's it. We're going over the chickens. Watch out, chickens. Coming through. That's one way to do it. We didn't see nothing. Anyways, let me put this down right here so that I cannot avoid it. I will have to see it on my way out. Otherwise, I will leave it laying there. I've seen me do it. And I'm going to go make a mess again. I'm going to drive in here. I guess I can show you my method here for the first stack. We'll see if it works. I'm going to find a stack. Those were already knocked down. I'm not taking responsibility for all those. Let's see if we can get in here. Ugh. Oh boy, we made it. Alright, so the plan is to try to lift everything. Oh man, it's not even a full stack. We stole that one. Let's go this way. Lift it a little. Oh boy. Well, it's not working. We're wedged in too tight with the other group there. <laughs> well, that was that's the end result of the plan anyways. It's not as pretty as we had hoped. The last one I did actually worked perfect. I drug it all the way uh, out to the entrance to the bay there before it whoa, before it fell down. I'm not sure what exactly happened there. I think I hit that concrete wall. Alright, well we're going to tear something up here before this day is over. I can tell you it's 3.22 in the afternoon. Yeah, we are fast on our way to ruining some things, so let me go do that. Uh, I can do that privately without your assistance. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.